this uh, wilderness is the last true wilderness left in North America. There's, there is no other true wilderness left but right here in the Arctic of Alaska. That's it. A rifle or a pistol to me is no different than a hammer is to a carpenter. I'm a subsistence hunter, and this is just uh, an everyday thing for me. We're gonna move along slowly and see if we can get in uh, good range here to get a shot. We spotted a medium-sized herd of caribou. We're gonna target a, uh, a dry cow, a cow without a calf. That's the, uh, the best meat at this time of year. That's the fattest animal, and, and the meat is what's important to us. Dud. My firing pin froze, took it apart. I had to um, use some grease that doesn't freeze so easily. I think the gun's gonna work well. Hopefully we'll have some success. I eat meat every single meal, every single day. I buy absolutely no meat whatsoever from the store. Every bit of the meat that I eat is harvested by myself. I love it. bait is placed in the back of the cubby. The animal comes along, he sees the bait in the back, he goes in, he hits this trigger mechanism. It's a real humane way to harvest wolverine. The safety is now off, and that is a hot, very powerful trap. And that's what happens. Jesus Christ, that's powerful. Use my handy trap setter here and try not to break my arm. There's a learning curve. I'm just trying to have that curve not include me snapping my freaking arm in this. I try to use a lot of caution. It's pretty cold right now. It's about 20 below zero. Oh, that wasn't cool. Well, I caught my hand in it. Didn't feel particularly good, but you can get yourself in trouble out here, so. Learned a good lesson here with these 330s. They're freaking dangerous. I'm happy all it had was my hand. Last water jug's empty. Make a run down to the river here and get some water. A little bit different than getting water anywhere else, you know? Can't just flip on the faucet. The river conditions, uh, just like the weather conditions here in the Arctic, uh, they control everything. Sometimes it's real easy to get water. And a lot of times it's very difficult. Sometimes it's kind of it's kind of dangerous depending on the ice condition. We're standing on a little bit of shelf ice here. The water level is actually lower than the bottom of the ice, so there's air between the water and the ice. There's always the danger of uh, of it breaking the whole shelf. A lot of people make a lot of fuss about the way I live, and they think that it's so hard or all that. If I didn't like it, I wouldn't do this. This doesn't bother me. I like being outside. It's a nice life.